Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we have the opportunity of having one of the most dedicated human and environmental activists in here before us today. Ken Sarawiwa was born Kenule Bisin Sarawiwa in Bori, Niger Delta, the west part of Nigeria, Africa. He was born on October the 10th. 1941. He got married to Neva Sarawiwa in 1967 and is blessed with five children Ken, Gianni, Tidan, Neil, and Nina. Ken Sarawiwa studied at the University of Ibadan in the year 1965 and holds a bachelor's degree in English from the same university. As an activist and president of the movement for the survival of the Ogoni people, he led a non-violent campaign against environmental degradation of the land and waters of Ogoni land by the operations of the multinational petroleum industry, especially Shell. He was also an outspoken critic of the Nigerian government for failing to enforce regulations on foreign petroleum companies operating in that area. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a man in our midst who campaigned for what Greenpeace considered the most basic human rights, the right to clean air. He has not only been successful in protecting the lives of all rich regions, but is also a recipient of the Right to Livelihood Award and the Goldman Environmental Prize. As an author, he wrote so many books, which includes Soza Boy, Tambari in Dukana, Forest Flowers, Songs in Time of War, A Month and a Day, Nigeria in the Brisk of Disaster, and Genocide in Nigeria. The producer of one of the longest TV series in Nigeria, Bassi and Company, has proven himself to be not only someone who fights for the protection of our environment, but also has expressed his beliefs through literature and the media. His philosophy being that the children of today are tomorrow's leaders led to his career as a commissioner for education in River State in the early 1970s. In 1992, being a man who lets nothing deter him from fighting the right course. He was arrested and imprisoned for organizing a coalition of peaceful demonstration, seeking protection of an all-rich environment. In one of his speeches, he said, we either win this war to save our land or we will be exterminated because we have nowhere else to run to. Sarah Weaver, we join you in this great journey. Friends and supporters of this great cause, I thank the Director for Environmental Protection Agency for giving me the honor and the privilege to introduce my friend, mentor, author, activist, and producer to the United States of America. Please join me in welcoming Ken Saro Weaver. <laughs> 